Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and Megatron of Melody Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we are looking at Elvis Presley live and his version of Poke Salad Annie. Uh, this is a hot tip from my brother-in-law. I said, have you checked this one out? And I said, no, I don't know. I know a lot of Elvis tunes, but not this one. So I thought it'd be perfect to put on the Time Machine headphones and head back into the YouTube wormhole universe and <laughs> check out Poke Salad Annie. Annie, for Flashback Friday. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Mm. Vegas Elvis. Look at those mutton chops. Look at the smirk. What are you looking at back there? I'm looking at you. <laughs> These dudes, hang on, hang on. Back up the truck. Where is this? Is this like some conference? Dude's wearing a tie. I guess this is when, back in the day, maybe late 60s, early 70s, everyone still kind of wore... <laughs> Wore, wore suits to go out to go see the king. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's get warmed up here. All sweaty and bare chested. Some of y'all never been down south too much. I'm gonna tell you a little story so that you'll understand what I'm talking about. Down there, we have a plant that grows out in the woods and the fields, and it looks something like a turnip green. Everybody calls it poke salad. And that's poke salad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right. This uh, pre-show banter. This is, this is something else. Okay, so a few words on the costume here. This is like a superhero costume, you know? He's like a... I can imagine the conversation. He's like, okay, I want someone with really high collars. You know, I bet you this is late or on in the show. He's all sweaty and, uh, you know, getting close to the end of the show, perhaps, maybe. Or maybe this is like wrapping up before the intermission. Something big is about to happen. You can just sort of feel it in that in that pulse and the, the leg swagger. Yeah, yeah. The the costume, though, like check out the. The chains sort of dangling in the front there. It's almost like his chest is just too magnetic to be contained. You have to you have to chain it in, <laughs> or else his shirt's gonna bust right open. I don't know. It's it. This is Elvis in all caps, right? This is the king doing his thing, and I love the shots. Man, the band is right there with him. Anyway, I used to know a girl lived down there. What She'd go out evenings and pick her man. What was he doing? What was he doing? Anyway, you snow girl live down there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you feel like he's building up for something there. And then he's like, yeah, okay. That was just a little, little sidebar. Just thought I'd go down that road for a little bit. <laughs> Come on back. Tell the story. Oh, man. She'd go out evenings and pick a mess of it, carry it home and cook it for supper. That's about all they had to eat. But they did all right. But well, they did all right. Down in Louisiana, where the alligators grow so mean, I lived a girl that I swear to the world made the alligators look pink. You got your granny. Yeah. Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was a working on the chain gang yeah. A mean, vicious, straight razor toting woman Lord have mercy What? What did you just do? What did you do? 
Nanny's naughty knickers. What did you do, Elvis? Straight razor toting woman. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Every day before supper time, she'd go down by the truck patch and pick her a mess of folk salad and carry it home in a cold side. Folk salad, Annie. You got you, Granny. Everybody said it was a shame Cause a mama was a working on a chain gang no. Okay, the strut, the smirk, the the moves, the he's just the band is glued to him. He's sending energy out to the audience, down through the floor, up through the ceiling, and right back to him, right back to his band. Masterclass, okay? This is <laughs> this is pure animal magnetism, 100% authentic. There's no there's no choreography here, you know. This is this is him doing his thing. This is him, the lion in his domain. <clears throat> yeah, king, indeed. You suck a little push. Daddy was lazy and no count. Claimed he had a bad back. What was that? It was like, this is this is it. Like this is primal energy. He's like, I'm doing my thing. Everyone's watching me. I, I don't I don't care. I'm gonna stop if I gotta stop. I got something. He, he, he's looking at a note. <laughs> what were the, the lyrics or something? Insane. Awesome. Awesome. 100% magnetic. All her brothers were fit for Stealing watermelons out of my truck Crash folks said it any You got your credit Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was a working on the chain game Talk a little about it. You know what needs Talk a little about He's conducting that over here, man. Beat it up. Whoa, we're not done yet. Little folks said you know what made me a mess. Suck a little. Know what made me a mess. Suck a little. Suck a little. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Like I said, it's a master class in <clears throat> knowing your domain and it, it, what? Inhabiting it completely. It's sort of like when I was listening, I was watching him as it's sort of like sort of like a message to all all the other performers out there. Oh, hmm. You play you play a little music. You sing a little music. He's like, let me show you. I am music. Like, there was just, it was everything. 
It was everything, man. It was. It wasn't singing a song. He he was the song. It is the song. Elvis is the song. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I kind of I kind of I think about that a little bit. You know, like when you, um, uh, when you're a performer and you're just so uh, dialed in, not just to the music but to the performance, the whole the whole thing, the lights, everything. Uh, something extra happens and there's like this dynamic energy, you know, that, uh, you are kind of surfing this ocean of energy, you know, and, uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know. I, I have to sort of think about it a little bit more to be able to put it into words, but I think that's, that's the best sort of personification, the, 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 the realization of what that energy feels like. You can see him, you know, even he's sort of getting down there, hunching down, doing some power squats, surfing that energy. Um, yeah, yeah, really cool. Really, really cool, man. You know, uh, definitely 100% authentic Elvis Presley, you know, and I think that's a message to all of us, you know, like <clears throat> stop trying to worry about existing in some kind of hierarchy. You know, like, you know, you hear about uh, beta males, alpha males, all this sort of stuff. It's sort of like, you know, well, if you're constantly measuring where you are in this kind of mythical hierarchy that you imagine, oh, well, I'm here and this person's above me and this person's below me and I need to suck up to the person above and crap on the person below so I can climb up higher, up up the higher dominance hierarchy or whatever. I mean, sure, if you want to you think that's real, but when you're at the top, it's not about some kind of hierarchy. It's like, this is my territory. Elvis is in the building. It's his, it's his territory. He's the king. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do his thing and you're gonna watch and you're gonna like it and you just can't help but be carried along with it. Okay, I'm kind of gushing here. I don't really know what else to add to that, but Maybe you have some thoughts that you can add down below in the comment section. Uh, and uh, whether you think, uh, I don't know, I'm always interested to learn from you guys that that suit is something else, his super suit. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe you know, maybe someone's got a lean on, a lead, a lead on where you get me a super suit like that. That's pretty rad. Um, always something to to uh, look forward to and reading your comments down below. Anyway, um, I guess that about does it for me. Uh, if you are a young singer and you're wanting to harness your own authentic self, I strongly recommend you reach out to a talented vocal coach. Elvis didn't need a vocal coach, but he's one in a million. The rest of us kind of need a little, a little guidance along the way. You can um, uh, find somebody in your neighborhood that's the best way to learn is one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, you can certainly reach out to one of us uh, vocal coaches here in YouTube land don't have to work with me, but I'll be sure to leave my links down below in the description. If you want to work with me, you can get a hold of me at my Wizio page or KenLevineVocalCoach.com, all of that sort of stuff. And uh, if you have made it to the end of this video and you have not hit that thumbs up or the like button or be joining this uh, fabulous community, I, uh, hey, I encourage you to do that. Do your thing. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And uh, you have yourself a beautiful day. We will see you next time.